Go ahead and go neutral. That wind's gonna push you. That's good. Perfect size too. That right there is filet mignon for a catfish right there. Quick release. Swing up in there. Perfect size bait. When you're fishing for skipjack, this is what you want to see. A good one. We'll get about five more and we'll be good. That's a big in there. Look at this big old skipjack. I wonder how many state records have been cut up for bait. I don't know if this is a big one right here. Wow. <laughs> Look at that skipjack. That's one of the bigger ones I've seen. You know what? I'm, you might weigh him. Now, he's not quite that big. <laughs> That's a dandy skipjack though, look at that thing. Dang tootin'. I tell you what, whenever I catch them this big, that's those great big breeding females that'll make it to next year, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let that go. Man, I keep getting them on, they keep popping off. Two of I them. I got two of them. Double. One of them's off. Get, get in here. Two of them. All right, there we go. There we I go. believe that'll do it. We got plenty for bait. Yep. There you go. Let's go catch a catfish. There we go. I got him. What do you got there? A uh, little old slimy catfish. He ain't very big. Skunk out of the boat. You mind netting this fish, Steve? <laughs> channel cat. Yeah, old right. channel cat. Channel. Bunch of them in here. Tell you what, if you were eating fish, that right there is what grease is for. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, a little Andy's fish seasoning, or I don't know, what do you use? I just use these cornmeal. Cornmeal? And with a little a little bit of Cajun seasoning in it. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. We'll let him go, get bigger. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're after right there. Get the net, Steve. Get the net. He's coming at me. He's better than I thought. Come on up, baby. Oh, that's a good fish. All right. That's what we wanted right there. Who's your daddy? That's a good fish now. Now we're out with Captain Paul Willett out here on the Ohio River. And he told me he was on a bite. I guess he wasn't lying. That's a big fish. Yeah, that's he mid twenties. That's a good fish. Wow. He ain't no bigger than that. Just a nice one. What kind of bite you got this time of year? Uh, uh, Obviously, we're using skipjack. We're, we're using skipjack. But it, it, here, I tell you what, a rule of thumb for me is when these when these uh, skipjack quit biting. When they, when you can't catch them anymore, that's when the shad bite it turns on. Right. So whatever's up feeding and you can catch on the jig is fine. But whenever uh, whenever the skipjack quit biting, that's time to use time the shad to to the rule of thumb because that's that's what you're going to catch and that's what they're going to be feeding. Now this is a year-round fishery. You this is year-round year fishery. You catch this fish in January when the water's 34 degrees. Yep. Now, what? Which part of the year you like to 
fish the best. It's November now. Yeah, it's uh, November is a good time to fish. Uh, December is phenomenal. December bite is just amazing. January, February, uh, you know, I've caught some of the biggest fish I've had, you know, 75 to 80 pound fish in February when the water is 34, wow. 35 degrees. Fish on, baby. Pretty good one too, ain't it? Feels pretty good. <laughs> you got that rod? He's coming at you. There you go. Keep reeling. There you go. You doing okay? Yeah. All right. Tim Dunn got him one. He's still coming at you. There he is. There he is. Keep reeling. I believe. Oh, baby. He's a pretty good fish. Yeah. He's oh right here. Goodness. Okay, raise, raise him up. I can get him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he was he must have been going 150 miles an hour. I, that's what happens. They come flying out Came there. Came straight man. at the boat. Well, I thought he was gone. Man, oh man. That's a nice fish though. Thing felt like he weighed 60 pounds. <laughs> that's just a typical day. Typical. No kidding. Absolutely. It's all about the right size bait. Yeah. Big you, fish, big bait. Absolutely. Every time. Yeah. Now, all you have is a. Is a three-way swivel? Three-way swivel, about 10 ounces of weight, and an eight-aught circle hook. And about 80-pound braided line? 80, 80 braid, 80 monofilament leader. It's, it's not, you know, this is typical what you can expect to catch. Now, if this is not something you do every day, but it looks like a lot of fun, I wouldn't recommend you spend a, a whole bunch of money going out and buying all these rigs. Find you a guide who's got all, everything hooked up. It'd be cheaper. Just to go find you somebody who does this. And uh, like Mr. Paul here, and let me tell you what, look what just happened. Look what a pretty fish. That Beautiful pretty, animal. That's just a good representation of a blue cat right there. You know, that, that's an average size. That's what I would call a teenager. You know. What's uh, your big fish ever down here? Uh, mid 80s. Mid 80s. Yeah. Dear goodness. Yeah, I want that 105 is what I want. <laughs> I bet you do. Bad. Mighty Ohio River and Mighty Blue Cats. Steve's still after that Moroni. Watch him. He's out of control back there. Wow. That's a toad of a white bass, isn't it? <laughs> now, how about that? Sitting in one spot while we're catfishing. Look at there. It's a nice one. You think? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Paul, we want to thank you much for taking us out today. And Steve for hanging out with us and making us feel bad, catching the biggest white bass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He's just mean like that, isn't he? <laughs> no, this has been a lot of fun. Man, the wind's blowing 800,000 miles an hour. And we're, we're still, still catching, catching fish. <laughs> <laughs>